this is an invitation to come and speak at your church so that we can get you excited about prison ministry. Matthew chapter 25, James 1, 26 and Isaiah 58. This is the true fast that God has chosen. I'm a Messianic believer in Jesus for 33 years now. I spent my first 29 years serving the devil. At the age of 29, I met Yeshua, Jesus. And I've been involved in prison ministry almost immediately for the last 33 years. <clears throat> until COVID came to our shores two years ago. But now prison ministry has opened up again. And that was a week before Passover. It was a good time. And this is the most incredible uh, ministry to be involved in. I don't know exactly where to start because it's, it's so precious and so beautiful. So as we breathe in and breathe out, uh, we have a manual that is very orderly. God says we must do everything decently and in order. So this manual that we go through over a four-day period in the prisons, we meet the correctional services leaders and tell them that we'd like to bring some grace, some chesed, some cookies, some breakfast, some lunch, some love, some talks. And we'd like to take the inmates, your children, in the prison, correctional services, service of center of excellence on a four-day journey, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, four-day journey on these riverbanks and allow God to heal your gangsters, the gang leaders, the troublemakers, the hard-hearted people. Give us the worst of your people. And when we meet these guys that the prison leaders have chosen to come and join us, 18 of them spend four days with us. We're a team of 25 people that go and spend time with 18 inmates around four tables that are positioned in a hall or in a tent if there's no hall in the prison. And this is happening over 500 prisons around the world. But I'm talking about Johannesburg now. If you'd like to just receive my heart of gratitude for all your prayers, your financial support, and everything else you've done to make this prison ministry weekend um, possible. Thank you so much, and uh, may you, God continue to keep on using you to bless Kairos Prison Ministry so that we can um, get the whole church involved. Little children make cookies with their mommies and pray over them that the love of God will enter the inmates' hearts when they eat it and dip it in coffee. We serve the inmates around four tables. And we ask them how many sugars would they like? Do they want milk? Do they want oros with ice, without ice? We serve them meals, biscuits the whole day. And we have a whole file of information that we give to these beautiful inmates. So they are fed spirit, soul and body over these four days. And it's just absolutely incredible how... God has put this special course together. And when we are now finished the prison ministry of those four days, the 7th to the 11th of um, April, we go back and encourage them. The next one is the 23rd of April, then May, June, July, August, September. There's another intake. Whoever wants to get involved in prison ministry. And then our reunions carry on October, November, December. And God willing, into 2023 thank you so much for um, all your loving kindness and mercy in this kairos prison ministry lord thank you for blessing our supporters please bless their homes their families their souls this passover pesach easter and may prison ministry be on top of our agenda for the whole body of christ to get involved and be a blessing and I look forward to you contacting me on 82 0236 And my name is Glenn Osher. I'd like to come and speak to your congregation so we can get the whole church involved in this wonderful ministry, Kairos Prison Ministries.
God bless you and I look forward to hearing from you real soon in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord.